NUM seals wage deal with Lonman and Mandasha warns against people calling for revolution while they use ANC to make money. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. The National Union of Mine Workers says that it has sealed a two-year wage deal with Lonman, averting a possible strike at the world's third largest platinum producer. Lonman's bigger rivals Anglo-American Platinum and Impala Platinum clinched similar deals earlier this year, significantly removing any immediate threat of labor unrest to global platinum supplies. The NUM says in a statement that its members overwhelmingly voted in favor of the offer. Following a pattern in the mining sector, the settlement is for increases that range from 9 to 10 percent, considerably above the inflation rate, which was 6 percent in October. ANC Secretary General Gweta Mantacha says the ruling party must be aware of people who are calling for a revolution while they use the party to make money. He's been speaking at a student organization SESCO's National Congress in Bloemfontein. What is attractive is to be in a big deal, is to be in tenders, is to make money. And therefore you drive big cars and you are uh, in, 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 in the township. In, in uh, now, Sasko must help us appreciate that your best contribution is your brains, is your knowledge, is your expertise, is your commitment to transform society. A 60-year-old traditional surgeon is expected to appear at the Molopo Magistrates Court in Mahike in the northwest this morning. This after he allegedly abducted young boys and took them to initiation school. The man was arrested on Friday after 56 initiates were taken to hospital due to botched circumcisions. The SBC's Bobby Serame reports. The initiates had to be rushed to the Mahike Provincial Hospital as some had septic wounds after circumcision. Some were later discharged while others were referred to different clinics to receive treatment. Police had to act swiftly after numerous complaints from parents to various police stations in the Ngakamudiri Molema District Municipality. Parents were complaining that their children were forcefully taken to the initiation schools without their consent. Police had to shut down some of these illegal initiation schools as instructors didn't comply with rules and regulations of the Provincial Initiation School Policy Act of the Health Department. Bobby Sarami, SBC News, Mahiking. And over 80,000 Kiptonians descended at Adderley Street in the city centre for their annual switching on of the face of lights last night. The colorful event consisted of a range of entertainment, including a carnival parade with floats and live performances. With Cape Town recently announced as the World Design Capital for 2014, residents and visitors this year saw three new festive lights crossing designed under the themes Cape Town, Africa's Greatest City. Mayoral Committee Member of Tourism Grant Pasco says the event promotes unity. That's a 40-year tradition that's come about in the last uh, 10 years. We've grown this thing to be a major festival, starting off with 2,000 people. We now average 80,000 people and our official count today is 86,000 people and so we're growing this thing but this really significant because it kicks off our summer season in the Cape Town and we want to build this to tourists now to come and meet the locals at a free concert, free party, just relax.